Hi guys, my name is Kat, and you are watching my toy and doll channel, Illusionary Worlds. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about webkins. My apologies for any noise in the background, my brother's playing Call of Duty. Anyway, I got this signature raccoon last summer, and I named him Rocky. And he was my first webkins. I got him when I got my niece Marissa a signature, I think it was a Cocker Spaniel. And I got him, and I think I got a Caring Valley Panda. I can't find her right now. I named her Manda, though. And I didn't really get any of this for a long, long time. And I kind of just sort of forgot I even had the account. And then my niece started mentioning that she'd like to play Webkins again. So I went to check it out, and my account wasn't there. Well, it's there, but I mean, I couldn't get on it. So I decided, okay, I need to get some more Webkins. So I'm going to show you the new friends that I got for Rocky. And you guys can tell me what you think. Alright, Rocky, you can move out of here. First up, I got this totally adorable frog for $5 at Economy Fair. He is a Lilkins frog. I got him because when I was a kid, one of the things that my parents did was my dad read me books called Frog and Toad. I'm hoping I can find another frog or toadish creature to go with him. I'm not sure what I'm going to name him yet, or whether I'm just going to call him Frog. But here he is. Hopefully I can come up with something clever for him. He is pretty cool. I still haven't registered any of these yet. I'm just showing them to you first. But that is my new Lilikins Frog. Next up, this little charmer, once I get the camera on it. This is the Lilikins black poodle, I believe. Personally, I think it should have been called the Littleton's Black Schnoodle because of how it looks. It's so cute, though. Say hi! And this one, I do know what I'm going to name him. His name is going to be Dargo because he looks like my dog. I wish my dog would come in right now. Here, Dargo! <whistles> Dargo, can you come in, buddy? Uh, I don't think he's moving. Which is a shame. I would really love to show the comparison between the Black Schnoodle and Dargo. But anyway, I was going to try and get the Cream Soda Pup because it looks like my pigmented albino Bichon Frise Coco. That's a mouthful, isn't it? But unfortunately, I could not do that. Anyway, though, yes, that is going to be Dargo the quote-unquote Black Poodle. Next on my list is my new snowy owl, which does not like to stand up by itself very much. Let's just flip her on her side. I am not sure what I'm going to name the owl yet. I know a lot of people are naming this Hedgewig, which is understandable. I mean, it's a Harry Potter pet. It was just released. Clearly, it was released to coincide with the movie, even if it's not official merchandise. It's gorgeous. I love the texture of its fur. The detailing is fantastic. The claws, the color of the in the eyes, the beak. Everything about it is just totally awesome. It has great items. I was looking it up last night. I couldn't resist getting it. So I'm looking for a name for my owl. I haven't decided whether it's going to be a boy or a girl yet. I'm still totally not sure I'm going to do with it. But I really don't want to name it Hedgewig because everybody's doing it. Lastly, I was very torn over whether or not to buy this, even though I really liked it because... These are not cheap where I got them. I didn't... Well, the two little ones were cheap, but the bigger ones can get be gotten for a better price in the city than they can here in town. But I had read last night that this little guy was discontinued, and when I saw him, I wanted him really bad, so I had to get him. Plus, my mother was like, what the hell, get him. So, I got him. This is a Stegosaurus. I am thinking of naming him Spike off of um, Land Before Time. I'm still not sure though. I mean, I don't want to make them all guys. Kind of boring having no girls. Aside from Manda, my panda, provided she's still on the account when I reactivate it. But yeah. Really, really cute. So I couldn't help getting him. Or her. Or it. Anyway. Let me just bring them all out together so that you can see my little collection here. I'm going to lean up against that. And you can come in here. 
you can sit over on this side and Rocky can come up behind you. Anyway guys, this is my collection right now. It's really cute. They need names. I don't think any of these guys are appropriate for clothes. It's more for the dogs and cats, which I'm sure I'll be getting some of eventually. I've got to clear these really messed up shelves up here off, and that's where they'll probably be displayed among my trophies and stuff. But they are really cute, and I am going to be adopting them. Although I'm not sure whether I'm going to video record their adoptions or whether I'm going to print screen and write about them in my blog. If I do write about them in my blog, or if you're curious to read my blog in general, you can find the link for my blog in the um, writing for this video. Or you can simply visit my blog at Lady Bastel, that's L-A-D-Y-B-A-S-T-I-L-L-A dot blogspot dot com anyway thank you ever so much for watching my video and have a great day bye